Pass to Jones. Inside. Here's Embiid. Deflected! Morant with it. Now guarded by Curry. Outside for Moran. Millsap outside. To the inside. Soft touch off the glass. Love watching Millsap go to work inside. He's a pretty smooth operator in the paint. Good footwork, good strength, and good touch. Now here's Curry. And that one drops for him. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scorers and let them do what they do best. Pass to Chandler. And he drives in. Out of bounds. It'll be New York's ball. And here's New York now. Let's it go. Curry, no good. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. And after winning MVP honors in 2015, Steph Curry was even better in 2016, taking home another MVP award going back-to-back. -back. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Jones. Pass to Embiid. Five to shoot. Here's Sabalos. Ooh, a two-handed power slam. With two hands on the rock, he powers it through. Totally in control, protecting the ball the whole way. And he should be. I mean, remove all doubt. Get it down, hard, and simple. Chandler. Ooh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. Among the best passers in the league, Morant finds open teammates. Embiid can't hit. And that 2016 MVP year for Curry Grant, one of the best regular seasons ever. Oh, so true, B.A. Think about this. The Warriors winning an NBA record 73 games. Steph shattering the three-pointers made record over 400 for the season. Also leading the league in steals, Steph in 15-16, something else, guys. Now here's Moran. We've got 113 left in the opening quarter. And a miss there on the triple. And here's New York now. Down low. Here's Sabalos. Leonard pulls down the board. You love to see guys challenge one another like that. Advantage to the defense that time. Out to Millsap. Yes, and it's Leonard with the assist that time. Millsap's got seven points. And, you know, I think in this day and age, you really have to be able to shoot the three. Millsap effective at helping to space the floor. And here's Morant outside. Knocks down the long J. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Pass to Embiid. That's tipped. Here we go. Shot and game clock separated by five. And Morant good for three. Six points for him. Yeah, the quickness of Morant makes him tough to cover. He's able to pull up on a moment's notice. Substitution on the floor. They've been making plays at both ends during this run, Grant. When you're in a groove like this, there's no better feeling. Now here's Tatum. Here's Embiid. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. The visiting team, 17. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? Well, their offense is clicking so far, capturing the momentum here early on. 
Yeah, you know, I agree. No warm-up needed. They came in on fire and have already built a nice lead. Here's Blackman driving to the basket. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That's on Joel Embiid. First team foul. Shooting for your home. And he sinks the second. This team leans on Blackman to help shoulder the load and score the rock. He's a big part of this offense. And there's the whistle. That'll go on Terry Rozier. That's his first foul of the game. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Where's the rim protection? That's just too easy for him. To the paint. Here's Kukoc. Drops in the layup for two. Boy, about as easy an assist as you can have that time for Rozier. To the middle. Here's O'Neal. Joel Embiid with the board. A rare miss for him at point blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. Rozier outside. Pass to Kukoc. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Hey, Kukoc is six foot ten, which makes it easy for him to flush it home, especially with that kind of defense on him. Get out of the way. And here's Butler outside. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Now here's Rozier. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Tell you what, Rozier is sneaky athletic now. He is no stranger to making plays above the rim. He's a heck of an athlete. Here's Kukoc. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. It's at 15 points. Here's Butler. Tipped. Nice job that time by Kukoc using the wingspan to get a hand on him. Back to Green. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Outside Butler. Here's Kukoc. Nice form on the 20-footer. Six points for him. Kukoc, a reliable shooter off the catch. He's got a nice, sweet lefty stroke. Now a timeout called by New York. And there's 138 left in the first half of this one. Pass to Embiid. Here's Maxwell. And he jams it home with authority. Embiid, intelligent ball movement that time from Embiid, getting it to a guy with a better shot. This is really amazing. I mean, from March 1st, 2014 to October 26, 2016, Joel Embiid didn't play in a basketball game. 31 long months rehabbing back and foot in. You have to appreciate guys who can work the mid-range area. It's clearly how you keep defenses honest. And I tell you what, guys, I mean, with this combination of size and touch, he's a real threat from mid-range. And give their offense some love. They've been the more efficient team. Well, you know, it's been all high percentage shot for him so far. I mean, just the kind of execution you want in the first half. 
Now here's Butler. He's got five. Fast break. Here we go. Here's Embiid. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And Embiid, no good on that one. You know, what I respect about Embiid, in addition to his tremendous skill and size, is his willingness to keep working on himself. He's already an elite talent, but if he sees any room for improvement, he'll go to work to make it happen. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. Pass to Embiid. Sinks that one from the post. Embiid's got eight. And here's Rozier. Here's Kukoc. And it's in! Oh! Nails the buzzer beater! Are you kidding? Makes his selection just in time. Well done. What was really impressive there, though, guys, was that he could have rushed it and panicked, and yet he kept his cool and splashed it. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. From deep, Moran buries it from three. Nine points in the game. Morant doesn't need the three-point shot to be effective. There's so much more to his game, but when it's dropping, he's lethal. Now here's Embiid. Give him eight. Offline from the high post. And unlike some other guys, missing a wide-open look won't hurt his confidence at all. Pass to Smart. Back to Morant. Pulls up. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. A unique talent. Ja Moran has taken the NBA by storm. Grant, does Ja remind you of anyone? Well, many people, including Paul George, have compared Ja to a young D. Rose. Yet each explosive athlete's at the one position. Well, Ja and Rose leading their teams at a young age as well. Down low. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Just good awareness from Leonard there. Feeding a wide open guy instead of forcing his own shot. And he stepped on the line, so they turn it over. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Here's Morant. And then Morant with the dunk! You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Priority and goal number one has to be tightening up the defense. They can't afford to give him open look. They just can't stop this run. And honestly, the more empty trips they have, the more they feel the pressure. To the left wing. Zabalos. And the three off target. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. From deep, Morant. The long distance three is Barry. Morant's got nine points now in the quarter. He plays with so much confidence. When Morant gets in a zone, he stays aggressive. Right wing. Here's Blackman. And he can't answer back. The three pointer offline. Smart for three. The shot misses. New York goes the other way with it. And Kawhi Leonard gets a whistle that time. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. There's a minute 54 left in the third. And rejected. Outside Morant. Smart outside. From downtown. Can't get it to drop. Okay, it appears an injury out on the floor. And that does not look good. And you guys know that this is something every player worries about. No matter your age or your ability. Yeah, you know, aside from some of the player protection rules, which have been of benefit, a lot of it just comes down to what the body can withstand.
Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over Embiid. Embiid misses. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. And guys, talk about silencing the critics. Tatum made first team All-NBA last year and led the Celtics to their first finals appearance in over a decade. Here's Tatum. That one drops for him. Tatum knows how to score in the paint, folks. He can make any adjustment needed to find the shot that works for him. Outstanding execution. Good job working the ball inside. Now here's Rozier. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. And, you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Swatted away. Incredibly light-footed at seven feet tall. MB can cover a lot of ground to Vincent. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Tatum inside, puts up a three, again gets it to go. He can't miss, five for five. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. The officials were right on top of that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give them any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. Pass to Kukoc. Now Tatum. To the inside. Here's Embiid. And then Embiid with the dunk. And the slashing Embiid is impossible to match up with. Terrific at cutting off the ball after the screen. Ja Moran, he's feeling it tonight. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Outside, Green. The rebound by Kukoc. Rozier, left side. Tipped. Outside, Green. And he banks in the layup. Outstanding decision from Kukoc, showing how versatile he is as a passer. Here's Butler. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And just shredding apart the defense with his passing. He's helping to pace this offense so well. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. Here's Rozier. Pass to Tatum. Outside Butler. Embiid with it. Rozier from outside. Davis with a rebound. Here's Green. Outside Butler. The three. And they recover it. Yeah, I think he's letting his emotions get the better of him on that foul. Not his best moment. Obviously, no one on their team's happy right now, but you shouldn't be taking that frustration out on your opponent with a poor foul.
The home team on D. Smart with the ball. Green picks him up. Pass to Moran. Shot clock at six. That shot, no good. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. Tries to break his ice. And the layup is good. Few players in the NBA strike fear into opponents, but Embiid is one of them because of his size, skill, and crazy strength. Now here's Leonard. Millsap for three. Maxwell grabs a miss. Two minutes remaining. Here's Green. And a nice finish on the layup. Green's got six in the quarter. Strong performance from him. But he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. Here's Morant. A minute 42 left in the fourth. Fires in the triple. Whoa, that man is laser focused. Now, that's bad defense for a team that has a long way to go to catch up. They look pretty demoralized to me, and that always shows through at the defensive end first. Smart outside. The three is up. Joel Embiid with the board. Here's Green. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. Simple. The closer you are to the hoop, the better your chance to score. Smart with a bucket. We've watched Morant get so good at this. Instinctively spots the opening and feeds a really good shooter. Green. And it's hammered home by Green. He is anchored in and making a living down low tonight. Unable to get the ball in bounds. And they got called for a five-second violation. Oh, the officials are calling a technical foul here. You don't see this too often, but they tried to call for a timeout when they had none left. A total lack of awareness there. Didn't seem to know they were out of timeouts. You don't expect to see that at this level. Grant, he just completely lost his concentration, I think. Should have been paying better attention at that moment. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Moran. And here's New York now. Pass to Curry. Here's Green. Cash money. Out of his 14 attempts, he's drained nine of them. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. Now they're playing with urgency. Huh? They could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. 44 seconds left in the game. And that one's good. Green. Big ups to this coaching staff. Great play design there. Pass to Chandler. And he comes up with a bucket. 
There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Green with the ball. Millsap picks him up. And that one's good. Green. Man, he's on fire. Playing patient basketball, not forcing shots. Now Smart. He drops it from range. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. And so it's a victory for the road team. Folks, we'd like to thank all of you.